percentage of drinking and irrigation water comes from underneath the earth. Understanding and managing this water resource is critically important as we prepare to tackle challenges like population growth and man-made climate change in the 21st century. The goal of my research is to combine data from satellite to computer models to find and understand more about groundwater in our planet. The surface of the Earth moves all of the time. For example, when two tectonic plates moves during an earthquake. But did you know that the surface of the Earth also moves up and down depending on how wet it is? You can think of the Earth as being a bit like a sponge. It is elastic, meaning that when it is loaded, it deforms, and when it is unloaded, it returns to the first position. And it is porous, so water flows and be stored in little spaces inside the rock. Elasticity and porosity are coupled, so when we squeeze the rock, water can flow out of it. The mathematical theory of porelasticity can help us to predict this movement. This theory builds a model of flow of water inside the Earth and underground deformation on a computer. But to make this model useful, we need real data about the Earth as input. Incredibly, the modern satellite systems can give us data about how the surface of the Earth moves to centimeter or even millimeter accuracy. The sat every six days, a satellite from Sentinel-1 mission pass over Belval and other places on the Earth. The satellite sends a burst of radar and that reflects off the surface of the Earth and then receive back this information. By comparing two radar signals, we can precisely measure the distance by which the Earth reason or sign. And then uh, we can produce data describing surface displacement everywhere and every time. And finally, we can, by combining satellite data and computer models, we will be able to reveal the hidden world of water underneath our feet. Thank you for listening. Sona, that was so good. Terrific. Thank you. I'm